Hey everybody, it is Jacqueline over here at Homeschool Hangout, and today we are going to review Success Skills by Carrie J. Green, PhD, as a soft skills curriculum for high school students. If you're looking for curriculums for high school students, or you just generally like me, whatever, like, subscribe, comment, all the good things, and let's get into it. Okay, so the complete name of this curriculum is actually, let me read it. Success Skills for Christian Students Video Course and Book Bundle. And that is specifically what I'm looking at today. It's put out by Skills for Students, LLC. First off, my disclosures. I received this for free in order to review it as part of the Homeschool Review Crew. So while I was sent this for free, it does not influence my opinions, my words, my thoughts, any of it. So disclosure's done. Let's move on. So let's start with what this is. This is a hybrid program with a physical book, and you can see my ring light right there, and an online course. It deals with soft skills, and um, the author calls it soft skill synergy. And what that means is kind of all of the nonspecific things that help a student become a successful student, a successful professional, and often a successful adult. I personally, I'm a big believer in soft skills. I don't always think of it as a subject, though I know it is with uh, in classes now, but it is something I've really tried to work with my children on as they grow up. Kind of, you know, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? How do you balance those out? How do you build a team? How do you find a mentor? How do you build a portfolio? How do you study? All these different things are all part of this course. So let me go through what is included. I have a list. I'm trying to be nicely organized here. And with it, you get the video lessons that also have an audio version in case your children want to listen to them, re-listen to them when they're on the go, taking walks, driving, whatever. If you want to listen to them as a family on the family stereo in the car. There is an ebook download, which is the same as your paperback that you also get included in this. But it helps if you want to read it on your tablet, on your computer, all that good stuff. You also get an application workbook download that you can then print out. Or, as I ended up doing with my kids, they had a composition book where they put all the work in that and just read it off the screen and documented there. It does come with a Bible study guide download. Also, a quick start student portfolio. And this actually helps them build their portfolio to showcase their experience and efforts, which frankly, for any college student is a phenomenal thing to have because a resume doesn't always encapsulate everything. Kind of like, you don't have job experience, show me something that shows you know these things. So, you know, if you wanted to get into photography, you people are more familiar with that, you'd have a portfolio. Well, if you want to get into programming, it can help now, traditionally, you, you would build a virtual portfolio on GitHub, but this is becoming something that is more and more common. When I was, oh my gosh, 23, I went for a job at our local um, public television channel to help run their silent auction, and I actually brought the resume book I was help, a part of that to help build for the School of Engineering. And they looked at that, and that's what got me the job. You've obviously worked with nonprofits. You know how to organize a project. You get the job. And I was one of the youngest people in the room, and I was the supervisor. So portfolios are a great thing to build. It also comes with audio downloads, MP3s of all the videos, and you get the slides. So as any of us who've taken a college class recently, getting the slides can be magic. That's where you make your notes straight onto the printed out slides. It's great. It has 14 chapters, and if you're not in California, where I don't exactly have to prove uh, what a course is, this could easily be considered a full semester course, if not a little bit more. But I would add some things to it to make it a full year, because to me, it's a little bit more than a semester course, but a little less than a year. So if you were looking for something like that, you know, it'd be building your portfolio, new resumes, a thousand word essay, maybe taking on a project, building a team. Those are all activities um, you could do to kind of beef out this program to easily make it a full year, but also put it into practice. Now, I'll be real honest. For me, I'm not doing that because of the other parts of my kids' lives. 
they're going to get a chance to put this into practice because my senior is on the senior leadership for our homeschool group. So he's already putting together events and building teams and all of this, and this will just help him. So that is what you get. What do we think of it? I love soft skills. I love the idea of soft skills. And so I really liked it. I like the fact that it isn't, I don't know how else to say this. It isn't hustle culture. It isn't bro culture. It isn't how to make people do what you want so that you're always winning. That isn't the tone of these soft skills. It is much more how to build your faith, how to figure out what it is God may want you to do. Um, how to collaborate. So it's not all about winning. It's also about being successful and accomplishing, which to me is much more important than winning. Uh, and I know you, how would you win soft skills? I know those people. Um, I really liked that. Um, it, it does say Christian edition. So I don't know if there's a non-Bible study version out there. I'm not sure, but I really did like how it talked about frankly, how to build a team and don't build a team of people who are just like you because then you won't have what you need. Um, I like that. I like the fact that it's, let's reflect on the skills and abilities God has given you that you are good at. Now, that said, we're going to talk a little bit about what my kids thought because I had my high schoolers do this. And my sophomore did say one of the things she found hard and challenging is there were spots in the Bible study and in the, in the book going, I want you to go pray about these things. Now here is a section and I want you to write everything God revealed to you. I remember hearing these kinds of statements when I was a young Christian and it throwing me and it seemed to throw her because she's like, I didn't hear anything. I said, well, Myself, when I pray that God reveals me something to me, either I can be thinking on the subject and I get a new way to think about it, or I will have it revealed to me and like, Lord, reveal my strengths to me. And you're looking for opportunities of I'm good at this. I'm not good at that over the next few days. For myself, that statement of go pray. Now write down what God revealed to you made me feel feel like if I wasn't audibly hearing the Lord or I didn't have like magical thoughts put in my head, maybe my faith wasn't secure. And so it, with your students, I would just make sure to talk to them about this, especially I've been very open with the fact that I watched a lot of things like the 700 club, which are much more charismatic than I am today. Mark Lowry made a joke years ago going, it's not that God doesn't talk to Baptists. It's just the fact that we couldn't handle it. So he doesn't for that reason. It's not that God can't talk to somebody. So that was just a little bit of a red flag on the study. Now that said, both children really liked the verses that he cited, really felt that that helped them hone in and get a lot from the Bible study in them developing as people. The other part is um, my 17 year old son. Now remember, these are all STEM children. We are math and science um, aimed in many ways. Interjura kind of said, good points. It's just a little wordy. And his sister came in and said, basically, it's a lot, a lot of non-directness kind of comes in. A lot of imagery, a lot of comparison instead of just straight saying it which frankly I think is really good for most students. My kids being raised the way they were and communicating the way they do, they already agreed with him, so they didn't need to be convinced. And um, so they, they said it was a little wordy, but a lot of imagery, a lot of comparison, a lot of pictures, which is, like I said, I think a good thing. And they did too. They said they learned things. They said it helped them kind of define some of their strengths and weaknesses and give them a biblical way to look at some of these soft skills. So even being raised with this, it did help broaden their understanding. On the whole, pretty good program. Um, there will be a link to it down below. But don't just take my word for it. If you head over to the Homeschool Review Crew site, there's going to be more reviews 
that might come at it from a slightly different angle from maybe an angle of not kids raised with a mom who does like, you know, business coaching and like focuses on productivity and process. Um, so definitely check that out. But yeah, on the whole, my kids said it was a pretty good program. Uh, they're going to continue with it. They only did the first part. Uh, we have a limited amount of time to review these. But yeah, it seemed scripturally sound. It seemed uh, ideologically sound. So yeah, let me know what you think of these types of soft skills. What is something in the soft skills world you want to teach your students that you're not quite sure how or how to structure it? Let me know down below and I will talk to you all later. Bye.